Ever since making its bed with Congress and NCP was betraying BJP, Uddhav Thakre led Shiv Sena has become a pale shadow of a party that Hindu Hriday Samrat Bala Sahib Thakre once envisioned. The party is now openly chastening the Kashmiri pundits and advising its coalition partners to mock their misery by propagating lies. Officially, it can be termed that Shiv Sena has transformed into Congress 2.0 while its mouthpiece Samna into National Herald 2.0. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Apurva and in this video I will explain how Bal Thakre's Samna has become National Herald 2.0. So let's begin. Bala Sahib Thakre, the founder of Shiv Sena, must be rolling in his metaphorical grave watching the current state of the party that he built from the ground up for the cause of Hindutva. Reportedly, the success of the movie The Kashmir Files, which showed the genocide of Kashmiri pundits in a visceral and uncensored manner, has not gone down well with Sena, which has termed it as a ploy by the BJP to create another fake narrative. Shiv Sena mouthpiece Samna recently carried an editorial piece where Congress, its coalition partner in the Mahavikas Agadi government, was advised to fight BJP by countering the narrative on Kashmiri pundits and the hijab ban. If one was handed the article without the name of publication, the said individual could be forgiven for thinking it was penned by Congress mouthpiece National Herald. One of the paragraphs of the editorial read as follows, BJP's cyber army creates fake narratives. BJP leaders put forth such narratives in Bengal and Maharashtra, but could not make them work. Even Akhilesh Yadav in Uttar Pradesh fought well against BJP. It later targeted the Vivek Agnihotri directed movie by stating, but the Congress is unable to fight these fake narratives. The Congress and others should now learn to create narratives the way it is done by creating issues around the hijab row or spreading fake propaganda through films like The Kashmir Files. Instead of showing solidarity with the Kashmiri pundits, Sena in the article was busy suggesting fake narrative points to Congress to mock the pain and sufferings of the pundits. The editorial read that the Congress should say Kashmiri pundits had to quit the Kashmir Valley when the VP Singh government supported by the BJP was in power and that Jagmohan Malhotra, who was close to the BJP, was the governor of Kashmir. The editorial remarked, this truth should be told. On the other hand, it is prominently known that the Kashmiri Pandit's genocide was a pre-planned barbarous act and why did then CM Abdullah resigned when the situation allegedly went out of his hands? Adhering completely to National Herald's journalistic line, the tabloid magazine also claimed that Congress can only be led by Gandhis, despite the debacle in the five assembly elections suggesting otherwise. The editorial also slammed the G23 leaders, saying that they were useless. For the last couple of years, it has been the G23 leaders of Congress that have been the sole voice of reason within the party. However, the top Gandhi brass has neutralized them by using their power and now allies like Shiv Sena that are only feeding the ego of the party. Ever since Congress and Shiv Sena came together and Uddhav Thakre started running the coalition government, the left liberal intelligentsia has co-opted Shiv Sena. The party that once stood for the cause of Hindus has become divisive, polarized and to a certain extent an Islamist apologist party. Uddhav Thakre seems to be under the illusion that the Shiv Sena's political fortunes can withstand the immense damage being caused due to silly statements from his end and his attempt to make the party from pro-Hindutva to pro-Marathi Manus. However, the political history of the party shows that it did not expand outside Mumbai region until it adopted Hindutva and given today's political environment, it will not succeed in any region of the state. The Shiv Sena under its alliance partners has been working over time to project itself as a secular party standing in steadfast opposition to the BJP's nationwide Hindutva push. However, Hindus, the core voters of the party, are increasingly becoming disenchanted and if the trend continues, BJP may ditch the baggage which Sena has become altogether in the next assembly elections.